Yo, what is going on people? Welcome back to another Daisy tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit this mod to make your own custom watermark. So that will be in the top right. Now, if this video did help you out, please make sure to leave a like and a subscription. If you do need any help, make sure to join my Discord server or leave a comment down below now all the links that i will be using in this video will be in the description there are nowhere else they are in the description i'd also like to give this guy a big thanks because a lot of people are interested in actually having watermarks on the server but there's been no scripts or anything released so thank you for being friendly so firstly for you guys that don't already have daisy tools installed what you need to do is you need to head over to steam go over to this tab here and make sure you have a tools check mark then you need to go ahead and find daisy tools and if you haven't already got it installed there'll be a blue button here which you click and then you click install then click play then it's going to load up your daisy tools launcher now for you guys that already have a p drive what you'll simply do is here you will click mount p drive so you click it and then click yes okay now for you guys that don't have a p drive already so if you don't have a p drive showing up what you need to do is you need to click extract game data and this might take five minutes it might take 15 minutes but once you've clicked extract game data it will extract all the data and it will create you a p drive now what i want you guys to do is head over to steam head over to daisy workshop and then up in the top search water mark and then once you search that up go to this and click subscribe click the button here subscribe now once you've done that close that down and launch up daisy now once you've loaded up daisy it'll come up in the launcher new mod has loaded load mod so you want to click the actual load mod but for me i've already got the workshop mod installed so i'm going to search in watermark so now i can open folder i understand and now it's going to quickly throw me to where it is located double click double click and as you can see in here we have got custom watermark folder so i'm going to control c that or copy this go to the p drive and i'm gonna paste it in here i'm gonna delete this because that's my old one i'm gonna paste that in here and as you can see now we have a custom watermark and the files are all here now you can close the daisy launcher now we don't need to edit the config ccp today what we need to do is we need to go into the gui underscore watermark go into image and here we have three images here now you, if you have photoshop you can edit the logo.psd but if you don't use photoshop and you're going to use gimp maybe you're going to use paint or anything like that what you can do is delete that because it is an unnecessary folder so you're going to click delete on that and if you don't have a png maybe this mod is actually updated what you can do is you can actually head over to daisy tools so daisy tools and where it says text view you can file open and here you can double click the PIA and it will go here file save as and then where it says AAA you can change NG and then you can save it as a PNG if you don't already have one now we're on this mod now you guys don't actually need to make the image transparent it's done by a script so you don't need to make the opacity low or anything like that so i'm going to put my opacity up to 100 now i'm going to get the rubber tool and we're going to rub all this away and now you can put any image you want or text or anything like that but the mod author says that for some reason this mod does not like black like text or any of the images so i'd recommend hiding away from that but my logo did work and that actually has some black around the edges so we're going to do my logo again we're going to go to file if you are using photoshop place and then we are going to find where your pictures are located so mine are located in here with all my thumbnails all that kind of good stuff i'm going to scroll down 
we're going to find my logo. Here we go. And the actual max size that you can have is 512 by 512. Now, this image is already 512. So, we're lucky in that sense. So, we're going to click Control S and we've saved that image now. So, now we can close this down. And we're going to head over back to Daisy Tools, Text View. And this time we're going to open up the PNG. We're going to go to File, Save As, and double click the logo PAA. Yes. Close that down. And if you want your mod to be even smaller, you can delete the logo.png. And now you've just got the PAA there. So now that is done, we can leave this folder alone. Now what we need to do is we need to head over to Daisy Tools and go to Add-on Builder. Now what Add-on Builder does is it basically crunches your mod into a PBO that Daisy can read. So in the options key here, I want you guys to paste this code. Now this code will be in the description. So I want you to get this code and paste it into list of files to copy directly make sure that path to project folder is P once you click OK on that this is your P drive so as you can see man's already set up P custom watermark but we're going to select it again custom watermark OK now if you already have an app folder because you already have a server that's great but if you don't what you can do is you can head over to your daisy root so this PC, whatever that is, right click, new, folder, at watermark, go inside of that, right click, new, folder, call this add-ons. Now head over back to add-on builder, click these three dots here, and then find your at watermark folder, add-ons, OK. Make sure that Bannerize and Enabled Extended Login is ticked because if you do get any errors, it will display them here instead of it coming up with a shortened error. Now click Pack and now you've just got to wait for this to do its job. Now once that is done, we're going to head over to our Daisy route just to make sure that it actually has packed and it has PBO'd. So we're going to go to Watermark Add-ons and there we go, the mod is actually there. So we can close down the folder and we can close down Add-on Builder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to DS Muters and we're going to open up this. Now if you don't already have a private key like this, what you need to do is you need to collect N and then up here where it says authority name, what you can do is you can put your server name, maybe your name. So we're going to put for this watermark. Now if you have a lot of your own custom mods, you'll probably already have one of these and you don't need to create your own custom one. But I don't have a lot of mods, so we're going to click create key on this. Okay, now we're going to make sure that this is updated. As you can see, it has a watermark. We're going to click add source directory up here. We're going to find our mod. So our mod today is watermark. We're going to click on the add-ons folder. Okay. And now we are going to click process files. Yes. As you can see here, it's green. That means it has worked. So now that we've got it all signed, what we can do is we can go over and open up Daisy. Now we can finally test this out. Now we are going to be using Daisy offline mode to actually test this out. I'm not going to do Daisy offline mode in this video. I'm going to leave a gap here with a card up on the screen. Make sure to come back to this after. But what you need to do is just go to mods. Click this plus mod button here. Go to your folder. Watermark. Select folder. Load. Now in the parameters, make sure that you've got your parameters set up for whatever map you are going to be going on. And now what you can do is you can click play. Now what you've got to do is you've got to wait for it to load up. We are now in game and as you can see in the top right we have the warp mark. And now it has got a bit of an opacity to it, so about 80%. So you can see a few things behind you. Now for a watermark, I'd recommend mostly text and maybe a small logo next to it. Not something along the lines of what I've got, but 
it's up to you. It's your watermark, so you can have fun. Now what we're going to do is we're going to upload the mod to the Steam Workshop so you and your players can actually download it off there. Now you guys need to head over to Daisy Tools again and click on the Publisher button right here. Now you've got to wait for the Publisher button to load up and where it says this icon here, so select Mod Folder, make sure to click that, go to Daisy Drive and find watermark select folder now I'd remove this at here or you'd have two ats in the actual name and as you can see the signatures are all signed here you can put a description if you do change you can add some change notes you click I agree with the Steam Workshop license make sure that the mod is public I'm having it private so because I don't want people to download it so mine's gonna be private but you guys need to put public and then simply publish wait for this to do and voila you now have a workshop mod and this mod can be loaded onto your server if this tutorial did help you out please make sure to leave a like and a subscription if you guys can do me a big favor I don't normally ask this but maybe go ahead and follow my twitch and follow my Twitter if you are interested in tweets that I tweet which you probably aren't but who cares and if you do need any help you know where you can contact me my discord server or in the comments down below thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time adios amigos